I am here inside the campus of Ruit. It is one of the four engineering universities in Bangladesh. Now, most of us, including me, believe that this campus isn't so alive compared to the university campus that we have just beside it. And that's kind of true. But it doesn't mean that you can't pay a visit to here. So today, I'm going to walk you through to the campus of Ruit and explain that it's at least worth one afternoon of your visit. Now, do remember that this is an engineering campus, so you kinda get a mechanical or civil or electronics or robotic feeling. It's, it's the vibe here, not feelings. The main entrance is just beside the city highway, which remains busy all day long. And there is no footable bridge to cross it, so the students need to be very careful while crossing the road. But I assume after finishing this running construction, there will finally be the trees. There aren't so many local food carts or tea stalls, but occasionally you may find one or two just after the entrance beside the memorial complex. The transport bus for Ruet is colored dark red and white compared to the sky blue and white in the university campus. As the number of students isn't uh, so huge here, so as the number of buses. One thing I liked about here is that they have this uh, bicycle spot which you can't find in the university campus. It is quite small, but at least uh, they have this. It's useful for the students or staff who have bicycles. The campus is set for renovation as there are several buildings that are ready to stand in some couple of years. So, constructions are going on here and there. This area surrounded by a pond is calm and green. It kinda gives you a feeling of a small forest or so. And inside this small forest, you can see an overhead water reservoir tank, which fulfills the demand of water on the campus. The library is situated just beside the water tank, a fifth floor building with an engineering vibe, I guess. Now, what's interesting is that this road beside the library reminds me of the Paris road of the university campus. I mean, yeah, it's uh, quite similar to look at. The number of local shops are very few as this is a campus with fewer students. I didn't see this food car last time I came here but uh, it's good to see one just beside this beautiful road. Red comes with a tin shed hall. Uh, yeah, you heard it right. The campus has a tin shed hall which is nice in my opinion. It looks simple, kinda uh, vintage look. Imagine how it would look and feel in the rainy season with the sound of raindrops on the top of the roof. Uh, it's anti, it's dramatic, I guess. This one large field is for students to practice and play their games. But it seems like students aren't the only ones who play here. Coming to the edge of this nice road, there starts a residential area where teachers of the university live with their family. Beside these residentials, there is this long walkway with 
trees on both sides of it falling their leaves. Red leaves are all over the campus. And oh yeah, uh, this is the hall for girls. And with these heavy metal constructions, to me, this area makes me feel like an old World War movie spot, where there is nothing left but relics. So nostalgic, so antique, and perhaps too cinematic. Um, Ruet isn't the best campus to visit, I agree. And uh, after evening, there is hardly any crowd here, so it will give you a cold feeling. The thing is, in the university campus, even if you go at like 9 or 10 pm, you won't feel anything different or crazy or scary. But here, you might. But it's worth to pay at least one afternoon, which none of you would regret. And if you want to learn how to film a video, I have just dropped my new class on Skillshare. So you can always check the link in the description below and get 30 days of free membership trial. And if you're too poor like me, who can't spend $30 per month after that free trial membership, you can always check the link of the Udemy, which is the same course as I dropped on Skillshare, where you can get that course, I guess, on $12. If you haven't hit that button yet, just hit the subscribe button right now. Goodbye.